Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So I, I told y'all something before. I told y'all y'all was Israelites, right? You know what it means to be an Israelite? Give me that sentence. Watch what it means to be an Israelite. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 32, and verse 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, for as a prince has thou power with God. Believe in God. So God is a real man, all the way up in the third heavens, the creator. He created all of this. All of this that you see, he created. Out of everything that he created, he said he chose you special to be a leader for this earth. You got a son? If something bad was to happen to your son, what you doing? Somebody with the harm your son, what you doing? You going all out for him, right? If you see your son struggling, what you doing? You gonna make sure he's straight, right? That's the type of God you got. But why you think God not doing for that, doing that for us right now? Hosea 5:15. Why you think God? Because God, right? When you look on that, look. Hey, uh, what's your name again? Don't cry, man. It's gonna be all right. What's your name again? Who? Marcus? Look on that sign right there. Where you, where you see yourself on that sign, your nationality? A so-called black man? Okay, so you would be from the tribe of Judah, right? That's right. God said that he chose you to be a, a special person on this earth. Deuteronomy 76, hold that up, Jose. I want you to understand this. Don't just cry, bro, because it's going to take actions from God. All praise to the Most High for that humble repentance, but it's going to take more than that. It takes actions. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. You got to realize the man that you are because you're not regular. You're not just a regular human being, a regular person. God chose you above all people. I'm going to show that to you. Watch. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. God says the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American men, y'all special to him. Y'all special to God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. God says he chose you. You, Marcus, I'm talking about you. God said he chose you, read. To be a special people. No, to be regular. Special people. God says you're special to him. I know that this community beat us down. This world beat the black man down every chance it get. He chose the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans above all people. Meaning the Arab, the Chinese, the white man, every other man on this earth, God don't give a damn about. He said, I, I chose you to be free to the game. For the Lord, for thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. You chose it. You chose it. You chose it, read. To be a special people unto himself above all people. Who was chosen above all people. Meaning when God created that other man, the white man, he didn't choose him. He chose you, Hosea 5.15, but God is upset right now. You know why God is upset? Because the hatred amongst us is at an all-time high. It's no love amongst the black men. God is upset right now because he sent his son, us, right here, out here to come get you. And you know what a normal brother would do? They'll say, they'll say, that's what they're talking about. We don't want to hear that. You stopped and took the time to listen. So when I found that I was an Israelite, I broke down in tears too. Because the world kill you. Every chance you get, they told you, your own people tell you, hold on, listen. Your own people say, don't be nothing but a real nigga. Just grow up and be a real nigga. The white man tell you be an inmate. He tell you be an inmate. The women tell you be a deadbeat. You ain't ish, you ain't gonna never be ish. You a dog, you this, you that. 
You ain't nothing. Every, everywhere around us, other one the poor, the black man is getting beat up. We out here to tell the black man he the greatest of the earth. But the only way you can be that is if you stop being black and start being an Israelite. That's right. Start being an Israelite. You know what it means to be an Israelite? Keeping God's law. That's because right. you cried when I told you you was an Israelite. But what you got to understand is that God loves you and he chose you, but he upset with you right now. Imagine how you imagine how the father feel when his sons turn against him. Imagine how a father feel when the sons that he created would rather serve everything else, would rather do drugs, would rather get drunk, rather get high than to serve him. It's, it's terrible, but another thing is, but listen, bro, you want to know why it's terrible? And, and don't cry, it, it don't cry redemption on the way. You, you want to know why it's terrible? Because we failed. We got to acknowledge that we failed. We should have been better fathers. We should have been not even just fathers to our, our own children, fathers to the community. Like they, they even tell you in the world, it takes a village. But when the village is out here teaching you to be a GD or a vice lord, how do you expect us to last? The village that we're being raised in is pushing genocide. It's pushing genocide to our own people. Read. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 5, and verse 15. I will go and return to my place. So God says, I'm going to go and return to my place. To the third heaven. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until you acknowledge your offense, you got to acknowledge that God, I failed you. I went against you, God. You told me not to shave my beard, and I put a rag into it. You told me not to cut my skin, and I got tattooed. You told me to take one woman and get married. I was sleeping with everybody, God. You told me to keep the Sabbath holy, but I like to kick it on Friday and Saturday. I go to the club. So God says, what? Read it again. I will go and return to my place. So God turned his back on you the same way you turned your back on him. You know what happened when God turned his back on us? We went into slavery. Our God started the same way that happened with you. When you stopped being there for your son, the white man was able to get him. He was there, I'm not saying he's innocent, I'm not saying he's guilty, but it's the system that's set up. They don't give a damn if we innocent or guilty. They raising us to be inmates. That's why we gotta go extra hard to save our kids. That's why we out here not go extra hard for our kids. It's, it's rigged against you, but you know why it's rigged against you? Because we'd rather be thugs, we'd rather be gangsters, we, it's, a, it's a good thing in the black community to kill people. Just think about that. And then the thing is, how we so sick, we name a weed pack after. Oh, what you smoking on, Tuka? What you smoking on, duck? Right. Just think of the sick society we living in. It's because our, our elders, the leaders that's supposed to be leading us, failed us. But watch what God say, read. I will go and return to my place. So you love God, right? What you want to please God? Read. You're going to find out. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. So the first thing you got to do is acknowledge. You evil. I'm wicked. You told me to put fringes on my garment, but I didn't. You told me to keep the Sabbath holy. I didn't. Today is the Sabbath. I'm possibly keeping it holy. No buying, no selling, but I'm not. So God says, I'm going to turn my back against you. Let's see how you do on your own. You think you got to figure it all out without me? Let's see how that works. Read. And seek my face in their affliction. They will see me early. So God says, until you come back and seek him, he don't give a damn what happened. If you fall out here on your face, when you read the Bible, God says he's going to laugh at your calamity. God right now is giving you a chance at repentance through the prophets. First Samuel 2 and 3. You can't just look at this and just cry about it, bro, because God requires action. I know it broke you down. It break, it break any man down in here that they is like. But what you got to understand about that real life God is that he real. He real. Watch this real. It's the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, and verse 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. So God says don't talk so much. Because the, the thing about the black community is we love, oh, I love God. Hasha, blah, 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 blah. We love God, right? We go to church every day, every Sunday. We buy prayer water. We spend and we give, we pay tithes. We love God. That's what we say, right? We say, oh, I love God. Look at how I'm acting. God know I love him. No, I don't read. Let that arrogance come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. And by him, 
Actions always. Let's wait. Actions always. Let's wait. Actions. God don't care about tears. God can look at your tears and see, okay, let's see if that repentance is real. Because if those tears was real, when do you feel a sad free for Like for instance, if I did something wrong to you, right? How would you know that I was seriously sorry for what I did? I, I trip you, boom, I trip you, you fall. I say sorry. But then you walk me down the street, I see you and I trip you again. Boom, I'm sorry. I see you walk, I trip you again. Boom, I'm sorry. You gonna believe me? Why? I keep doing it. So how can I sit there and say, I'm sorry for what I did, but I keep doing it? That's not sorry. God not binding. He not binding. The thing about God is he gonna get even more angry. Don't think because, well, if you were to live, let me ask you a question, I want you to be honest. If you were to see these two images right here, just off the top of the head, which one would you think was Jesus? The black one? Okay, I'll pray. Three. It's the book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Yeah. Repent ye therefore, and be converted. So I ask you a question. If I kept tripping you and saying sorry, you wouldn't believe me, right? What would make you believe it? If I did what? If I change? If I stop tripping you? Would you believe me then? Read. Read it again for the time. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. So God says, I believe your tears. I believe your tears. If you do what? Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. God says, I believe those tears if you repent and be converted. You know what it means to be converted? What does the converse of mean? To convert means change. Meaning if I live my whole life as a thug, gangster, I gotta change and stop doing that. God says repent and change. You can't just cry and think that everything gonna be alright. You gotta change, bro. You gotta actually bring forth fruits, meaning what? God weighs what? We read it earlier. What is God weigh? Action. God looking at action. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.